hello 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 welcome back guys so in this particular session what we'll be doing is that we will be reacting to some of the climate changes related TED talk let's have a look it's given by Maria Gromchik uh, it's mid uni graduation with grads so it's about climate change and I'm a high school student Good day, my name is Maria Gramatuk and I'm a high school student. Today I'm talking about my TEDx talk talk. So, I'll say the beginning of my talk with uh, our immune system has uh, immense difficulties uh, to adapt to the global climate change. According to a study by uh, Shenfen, Lucas, Halley, the immune system is vital for our health and uh, is heavily influenced uh, by uh, the climate. The connection between um, our immune system. So, the climate change has not received much attention so far, but uh, it is a cruel shell and uh, understand the extent of the problem. Due to global warming, air pollution and the rising water level, the climate of the Earth is changing dramatically. Mm -hmm. This change is uh, mainly caused by the behavior of the us humans, especially children, older people and uh, people living in poor conditions are negatively affected by uh, mm -hmm. this change. Once the body is fully developed, the immune system is also ready. This we know because uh, children under the age uh, of uh, five often have an infection. Mm -hmm. The kids uh, conditionally or inconditionally are affected uh, by the climate change uh, in every moment of the, their life. Then the adults during eating, drinking, drinking, playing and even during the time they watch TV. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, uh, pediatricians already see the facts. Climate change has uh, one the patients do it to the current. Climate change winters are shorter, making the outdoor allergy season longer and uh, warmer. The Climate Reality Project notes uh, the increasing global temperatures are uh, worsening the quality of the air, partly as a result of uh, critter for information of ground level ozone, which is the main uh, which is the main component of uh, urban smoke. So they also state that for children, uh, the exposure to high levels of ozone can cause shortness of breath, um, hazing and cohen, chest ache, uh, temporary decline in lung mm -hmm. function and uh, mm -hmm. low level respiratory tract uh, infection. 
depending on the time of transmission. The disease can be spread directly or indirectly. A research results show that weather and climate changes can have an influence on how the disease spreads. Disease transmission can have a direct influence on the several uh, of uh, pathogenic organism and uh, indirect. Mm -hmm. They will get extinct. So, uh, indirect influence on the person. Uh, menstruation is also a global problem. In the healthy development of children, climate really says that the way we need uh, Nutrient to reach diet is uh, essential for the healthy development of children. I think the climate change is disrupting many human partners of behavior. The disturbances is uh, cool change uh, indirect in the interaction between uh, disease and the uh, human immune system. Well, in ways uh, the scientists uh, have not yet fully understood, it is uh, obvious uh, that the impact of the climate crisis could have serious and possibly alarming consequences for the health of children worldwide and uh, as the consequences for the future of our planet. So, what can we do to reduce the potential negative effect? According to the Climate Reality Project, uh, the good news is that there's uh, plenty we can do to minimize uh, or impact on the future climate and uh, to perceive uh, the health and helping of our uh, offspring. Everywhere in the world, leaders' climate reality can a committee to locally a collection, even if the government is not taking the leader on climate issues. So, throughout the uh, both children and young people also support local companies. Thank you for your attention. If you want to sell online. All right, I have been writing few points. Okay, so let me just pull that thing up. So, okay. So uh, what did she talk about was that she basically talked about immune system and its effect upon human um, immune system, I mean climate change and its interaction with human immune system, right? And then uh, she also mentioned that uh, attention is required because this is a very serious issue. And then after that, uh, what she also talked about was like how the negative effect it can have on like, uh, so if you have a good diet and everything, like uh, if you are not being exposed to this kind of things in a bad place or like if you have good air 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 purifier at home then basically your your health will be better right so whereas that might not happen in case of so like uh, poor communities and all so she talked about that there will be a lot of negative effects in that and then she also talked about like uh, how climate change can like have an effect on the children for all of the time like how it could 
basically be impacting their uh, drinking water, their air, their um, biology as well, right? And she also talked about how like uh, their sources of water is being polluted, like the ground level of ocean, which is being depleted as well, like the level is going down as well. Uh, and then after that, like uh, she talked about that. Then after that, she also talked about how like the exposure of children to uh, different pollution or any any human being as well, right? So you might have different pulmonary problems in the long term, like shortness of breath and all. And then uh, she also talked like uh, this could be uh, greater in terms of children. Why? Because they are still developing and the immune system is not yet matured. That's what she mentioned as well. Another point that she mentioned was uh, it can influence how like disease breed and also like uh, uh, maybe coronavirus could be some of those uh, influenced or it could be influenced by climate change uh, or it could have an impact like the temperature might be hotter which basically impacts how the virus organisms breed right breed or how they grow and then it might be a nurturing environment for them that sort of, that sort of thing as well so uh, and it might also have like different effects on these bioorganisms some may survive or some may be it might be a favorable event for some it might not be a uh, it might be a negative externality for some for others okay so she talked about that and then after that she also talked about like uh so even though like uh, these things are known but still there is a lot of things that are still unknown regarding this so you can't put a quantitative number in this so it's very hard to uh, quantify as well but you, you see the problem right so what are the solutions so basically uh, people need to be aware of this and then a bit more awareness is needed that's what you see said Another next thing that she mentioned was about different governments' action. So whichever government is in different countries. So basically, now that Trump is out of the way, so maybe we will have US back into the climate thingy, right? Climate accord. And then after that, uh, another thing she also talked about was supporting green companies. Okay, so that is very crucial. So if we support green companies and all, so they will basically be doing good thing for all of the people living in a community right so basically if you uh, support like uh, eco-friendly companies that will be the best thing that you can do from your level as well so that's all she mentioned about so i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye